Hey guys, welcome back to another one. With your help, I uncovered the informant that had compromised the Thieves' Guild. I know I used you in this matter with the Lothasis bust, but I couldn't be certain that you weren't working with Mivrina. Here is the reward you were promised. Even though the bust is gone, you've earned it. I'm also promoting you to the guild rank of Bandit, which will let you use Darji of Leowin as your fence. Good work. Any more special jobs? Sadly, I don't have anything for you. I only work with the less experienced guild members. You should go see Scriva in Breville from now on. You can find her at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. I wouldn't recommend bothering her at home unless the door is unlocked. Shut I've reached my goal. I have fenced over 200 gold worth of goods. I should go see Scriva sometime. She might have something for me. I don't, I... Let's go see Scriva. You are the new thief. I am your new doyen. Got any special jobs? I have a special request from the widow of a former fence in Leowin. As your new doyen, I am asking you to help her. A street scavenger made off with a ring that the widow of Darji values highly. She is offering a reward. The guild frowns on freelance thieves. Are you willing to go to Leowin, find the ring, and get it back to Adarji? I'll help out this poor widow. This is good. Go to Leowin, speak with Adarji, and help her find her ring. Good hunting. All right. I kind of want to do a quest first. I'm going to go back to the waterfront district. It better be good. So I'm gonna do the bloated floor quest. So I kinda wanna get some special leather armor. Make me look the part of the thief. What? Well met. Welcome to the bloated float. She's the finest inn on the water in all Cyrodiil. Can I rent a bed? There's a room all right, and a fine room it is. Yours for the night for only ten gold. I'll take it. A wise choice indeed. You've never had a night's rest like this, I assure you. <laughs> the room is down below deck. It's the door on the left. See? Was that hard? You get annoyed that everyone's mad Farewell. at me. Farewell. I'm killed. Move out of my way. Every little bit helps. Cause she Take has care. no words for you. Cause she has no words for you. All right. Let's 
Let's have a lovely night's rest. I've awakened to find that the bloated float has somehow been put to sea with myself on board. I need to find the owner and discover what's happened. Hey, who in oblivion are you? You don't look like one of the Blackwater brigands. Just a passenger. What? I was told there are only two others on board. I locked the bouncer in the storage room, and she has the owner. So that leaves you. Now I'll ask again. Who are you? I'm a member of your gang. There's no one else in our group except the four of us. The Blackwater Brigands don't just take on new members out of the clear blue sky. When we formed the Brigands three months ago, I was told no more than a four-way split on all the profits. So stop telling lies and tell me what you're doing here. I'm not gonna say. Then perhaps my sword can find the words that your mouth cannot. I've killed the thief known as Lynch. Apparently he's a man member of some group called themselves the Blackwater Brigands. They must have hijacked the bloated float and put it out to sea. It appears that Lynch has locked the bloated float's bouncer in the storage room. I should search his body and see if there's a key for him to be free. Ooh, Daedric Longsword. This is the armor I wanted. Let's see what this says. Lynch, your instructions are to make your way to the bottom deck of the ship and secure all of the rooms there. Make sure you don't distract Minx. She's to be left alone to do her assignment. Remember, after the ship is scuttled, we'll meet back in Breville in three days. Make sure you destroy this note after memorizing it. Thank you for freeing me. I'm Graman Gramarad, the bloated floats bouncer and helmsman. I've been locked in that storage room for hours. I don't know exactly what's going on, but not long ago, a gang of thieves calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands stormed the ship. They took myself and Ormel, the float's owner, hostage and put the ship to sea. I have no idea what they're after. If you can get me safely to the top deck, I can steer the float home. But I'm not budging until the coast is clear. I'm used to dealing with drunken louts, not a gang of well-armed thieves. Good luck. You'll need it. I won't need luck. I think I'll be okay. think you're going. Celine's not going to like this one bit. I wasn't to be disturbed. Lynch sent me up here. Lynch set you up here? Why? Did he send you to talk to Celine? Yes, I'm to assist her. What does she need assistance with? She has Ormil under her own watchful eye in his cabin. Something isn't right here. What happened to Lynch? He's dead. You? You bested Lynch? I always knew he was out of practice. Oh, well, I suppose it's up to me to do his job for him, as usual. I've killed the second thief. This one's a dark elf named Minx. Seems like these thieves are using strange code names. The only useful bit of advice I had discovered 
is that their leader seems to be named Selene. I should search her belongings for anything of use, then make my way to the top deck and secure the ship's wheel for Garmin. Nice work. Take it you want something. Why? Ah, what are you doing up here? They find the Golden Galleon yet? I'm awaiting orders. Orders? Celine didn't tell me about this, and I don't remember her taking on someone else to help us find the Golden Galleon. When did all this happen? Three days ago. Damn that woman. She promised a four-part split when we recovered the Golden Galleon. She never said anything about splitting it five ways. She said when we got back to the safe house in Breville, we would divide the loot after she fenced the damn thing. Do Lynch and Minx know about this? Lynch and Minx are dead. Well, since they're out of the way, if I kill you, that means Celine and I split the take two ways. This heist is getting better and better. Yeah. Oh! I've slain yet another thief. This one, a large Nord named Wraith. Wrath. He was guarding the ship's wheel. He mentions that hijacking the bloated float to recover something called the Golden Galleon. I should now get Gramman and tell him that the path to the ship's wheel is safe. Sounds like the coast is clear, so I'll make my way up to the ship's wheel. But I'm not moving this hulk an inch until Ormil is safe. Be cautious. Their leader sounds dangerous. How'd you get in here? I took the key from Roth. Roth? I told him to guard the wheel and not talk to anybody. Who are you? I'm here to join the gang. <laughs> we made a solemn pact not to let anyone else join the gang. I can remember it clearly, even though it was... Three months ago? What? Can no one in this gang keep things secret? I suppose you think you know why you've taken over the bloated float as well. To find the Golden Galleon. How, how did you know about that? No matter. Once I've taken care of you, we'll scuttle the ship and be off to our safe house. No one will find us there. You mean in Breville? Uh, again you have surprised me with your knowledge of our operation. I suspect Lynch didn't check all the inn rooms before we departed. You must have been hiding down there and made your way up here. How did you get past Minx, Roth and Lynch? I killed all of them. Impossible. You defeated the three of them alone? I, I'm humbled by your skill, and fear that assaulting you would lead to my own quick demise. Please accept my surrender. Here's my blade. Please, no treasure is worth my life. The bloated float is yours. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. I feared that I'd be thrown to the slaughterfish. The Blackwater Brigands? If you get Selena safely locked up, I can tell you all I know. I won't feel safe until you do that. I've already surrendered. What more do you want? Many thanks. I'm preparing the ship for her return. Thank goodness you arrived. Celine. Now that she's surrendered, please escort her to the last room on the inn deck. We'll lock her in there until we arrive at port. 
I've nothing more to... Selene is now locked inside a room on the in-deck. I should return to Ormil and let him know, so we can finally get this ship home. Alright. What am I doing? Now that Selene is locked up safely below, I think we can all breathe a little easier. I can't thank you enough. What do you know about the Blackwater Brigands? Well, I'm afraid all of this was my fault. They hijacked the bloated float because of me. Business has been waning of late, so I invented a story. I fashioned a tale about a golden galleon that the previous owner hid within this very vessel. It was to be a statuette made completely of gold. At the time, the idea was quite clever, I thought. I figured the law would draw more curiosity seekers and adventurers looking for the treasure. What could the harm be if while they were here, they bought a drink or two? My business has increased quite a bit since I leaked the story. Well, obviously, I was mistaken. It was a terrible idea. I'm just glad that no innocents were hurt. I wouldn't want to have their blood on my hands. Anyway, sorry to ramble. You better get below now and rest until we arrive safely at the Imperial City docks. And Selene? Selene no longer holds the bloated float. Once we get to the Imperial City, I intend to make sure she is prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Please, go get... Selene has to pay 500 gold. Bloated float has arrived back at the Imperial City. I should speak with Ormil before I disembark. You're awake. Good. I didn't want to disturb you. I suppose you're wondering what I did with Selene. The authorities at the Imperial City took her off the ship as soon as we docked. I was also informed that there was a reward for her capture. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here, of course. 370 gold? What the hell? Farewell, my friend. How can I help? By fucking off. Yeah, this leather armor has a little symbol in the middle. I don't know. Thought it would be cool to have this armor for a Thieves Guild character. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go sell my shit and then maybe I'll duplicate this sword if I can. the look of the ebony sword in this game.
think it's gonna work. No. Able to work on this one. Worked on this one. Done that one too. Maybe I just gotta switch to it fast. No. Okay, so it works on Daedric weapons and it worked on this one. Maybe I'll just carry this one around. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. So it's about the same damage as the other ones do. Yeah, I'll just carry this one. Fortify skill. Sweet. Wonder when I unlock this. All right. I don't even know if I'm reading this right. <laughs> I'm French as fuck, so...
I'll actually be able to sneak with this shit. I don't know. Mostly just for looks, but maybe it'll work. actually need that. Wonder what would happen if I enchanted one of these and then sold it. I'm gonna try that. Technically it's still stolen even if you enchant it, right? I think. Just put some bogus enchantment on it. Chameleon just for fun. Is it not stolen anymore? Damn. Some poo armor right there. I got another fence, but I like using this guy. It's you. Hi. Poor Arnora. Seems her boyfriend, your. Might do that Ar Arnora and Jorunder quest later, too. Tired. Can we get on with this? Shadow. Damn it. I'm really tired. Got some hot property. You've made a good bit of gold. I think I think I can move this item for you at that price. Um Shadow hide you. There. Yeah, that's good. And I think I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button and subscribe. Peace.